JWebSocket is an open source free WebSocket server you can use in your project. Well, it is still a beta version, but it surely moves forward. I have downloaded the JWebSocket server and extracted the file into the JWebSocket-o.1.0. You can find it over here. This is the folder I got when extracting the JWebSocket server. Inside this folder you can find the bin folder and here there is a batch file JWebSocket server that starts the server. In order to execute this batch file we first need to set the JWebSocket underscore OM um, system environment variable assigned with a value which is the path to the folder where the JWebSocket server uh, was installed. Now we can easily start it, we just need to um, type the, the name of the batch file JWebSocket server, we can skip the dot .bat and voila, it works. Now let's give it a try and try one of the samples. Well, you can separately download a client a zip file and then extract it and find samples. Here we have a um, chat sample. Let's give it a try. I will open it in this web browser. Let's log in. Okay, now let's open another um, web browser window. Let's open it with uh, Safari. Now, as you can see, we have two clients. The first use the Chrome, the other use is using the Safari. Um, now, the second client wants to join the chat. Login. As you can see, when someone type a message and send it, it immediately displayed in all chat windows. Underneath each and every client as a WebSocket opened, um, connected with another WebSocket in, on the server side. The server side in this case holds two WebSockets, one connected with the WebSocket in a, this specific um, web browser, the other is connected with a WebSocket in this uh, specific web browser.